just weeks after YouTuber Sean brilliantly exposed how Jimmy Dore purposefully misrepresents articles in order to peddle anti-vaccine misinformation, Jimmy Dore is once again peddling anti-vaccine misinformation. And this time, he's going to take aim at Ryan Grimm because Ryan Grimm dared to share that he got the COVID booster. Now, not only is he offended by the fact that Ryan Grimm got the COVID-19 booster, which I will be getting as well, but he says things, he makes claims about the efficacy of vaccines that are just factually incorrect. Take a look. I was watching The Hill the other day and uh, the DC bureau chief of The Intercept said that he got his booster shot Ryan Grimm said he got his booster shot because uh, the holidays are coming up and he didn't want to transmit the virus to other people in his family. And it's like, you fucking dummy. The vaccine doesn't stop you from transmitting the virus. It doesn't that you are you are not. He's virtue signaling. You're not protecting anyone else by getting vaccinated. You fucking propagandist at the Hill. That's the D.C. bureau chief, dumber than a fucking pothead comedian in his garage. That's the D.C. bureau chief of The Intercept spreading medical misinformation. And they, of course, won't be flagged for it because they're on the corporate fucking algorithm. And they get pushed and they never get suppressed. But this gets the actual accurate information on COVID will be suppressed. But their bullshit doesn't. It gets pushed. That was a complete medical misinformation. Ryan Grimm from the D.C. bureau chief of The Intercept gave on his on the Hill on that show saying that he got a booster shot so he didn't transmit the virus to all people in his family over the holidays that's not how the virus that's not how the vaccination works you fucking moron i know that and i'm high okay there's just one problem jimmy you're wrong predictably so and probably purposefully so now knowing what we know thanks to sean i'll link you to that video down below by the way if you haven't seen it yet so let me explain to you why jimmy Dore is wrong and why the vaccines actually do reduce transmission so a university of oxford study looked at a sample of 150,000 contacts that were traced from 100,000 covid 19 cases and here's what they found people who are vaccinated against covid 19 are less likely to spread the virus even if they become infected a new study finds adding to a growing body of evidence that vaccines can reduce transmission of the Delta variant. The article then goes on to explain when infected with the Delta variant, a given contact was 65% less likely to test positive if the person from whom the exposure occurred was fully vaccinated with two doses of the Pfizer vaccine. With AstraZeneca, a given contact was 36% less likely to test positive if the person from whom the exposure occurred was fully vaccinated. And those are the facts. The vaccines do, in fact, reduce transmission. And it's not like they're 100% effective at reducing transmission, but if you are infected with COVID-19 after you've been vaccinated, you are substantially less likely to transmit it if you've been uh, vaccinated with the Pfizer or AstraZeneca vaccines, as those were the ones that were looked at in this particular study. But that's if you get infected altogether, because again, the vaccines reduce the likelihood that you will be infected with COVID-19. Therefore, if you don't get infected, you don't spread the virus. So contrary to what Jimmy Dore is saying, the vaccines are really important in stopping the spread of COVID-19. Those are the facts, something that Jimmy Dore doesn't actually care about. But I just want to point out something. Notice how I jumped around in that article that I read myself and didn't have my producer read for me because I don't have a producer. But I read the article and yes, I did jump around like Jimmy Dore did in the video where he was called out by Sean. But notice how I didn't intentionally misrepresent the overall claim that the article was making. And notice how I was both precise while I was still being concise. It's possible to do two things at once. You see, it's because I'm trying to present you with an accurate image of what the data says, whereas Jimmy Dore is cherry picking data in order to construct a particular narrative that is uh, leading credibility to his anti-vaccine narrative. But I just love all of the hubris here. Jimmy Dore says, you fucking dummy, the vaccine doesn't stop you from transmitting the virus. And then Max Blumenthal just like nods in uh, disappointment. These are fucking actors. These aren't newscasters. They're not truth tellers. These are bullshitters, okay? Jimmy Dore then goes on to accuse Ryan Grimm of, quote, spreading medical misinformation. And they, of course, won't be flagged for it because they're on the corporate fucking algorithm and they get pushed and they never get suppressed. Uh, but this gets the accurate information. He's the one who's giving you the accurate data on COVID-19 vaccines. This will be suppressed. Well, first of all, it sounds like Jimmy Dore is calling for Ryan Grimm to be censored, which I thought he was against censorship. Uh, second of all, 
Jimmy Dore is being promoted by the algorithm. Out of all of the left-wing YouTubers, when he's still identified as a leftist, he was the only one that I saw trending on the YouTube page. And the reason why he's doing all of these anti-vax videos is because he knows the YouTube algorithm is rewarding him for that. Handsomely so. That's why he does it. Even if he knows that the misinformation he's spreading violates YouTube's terms of service, he's willing to take that risk because the payoff is that good because he knows the algorithm will in fact push his channel. Now, I have no idea if he believes his own lies or if he's just creating propaganda because it's profitable, but before he realized how lucrative anti-vaccine videos were, he was saying something very different about the COVID-19 vaccines. So this is what he tweeted out in March 28th of 2020. This is why I'm staying quarantined until there's a vaccine. See you in summer of 2021. Well, fast forward to 2021, and we now have a vaccine that is indeed effective and life-saving. In fact, the COVID-19 vaccines have saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Specifically, they saved 40,000 lives of seniors between January and May, and nearly 280,000 lives in general just in the United States. And this is a bit outdated, so by now, who knows how many lives the vaccines have saved? But if you're Jimmy Dore, sharing facts about the vaccines isn't actually good for your bottom line because you have a right-wing conspiratorial audience that goes to your channel and they expect you to confirm their pre-existing biases about the vaccines. And because they expect you to tell them that the vaccines are bad, you're going to do just that because you know they'd turn on you and unsubscribe in mass if you did anything other than just that. Now, Ryan Grimm responded to Jimmy Dore, and he said basically what I said. He was very reasonable. He says, Jesus fucking Christ, it is a well-established fact that if you are vaccinated, you are less likely to get infected. If you are less likely to get infected, you're less likely to spread it. Not hard to understand. This guy needs to move on from me. It's so weird. I never said you can't transmit it if you're vaccinated or boosted. I said you're less likely to. That's a fact. This guy's insane. Apparently, this eludes so many people, but simply, one, if you're vaccinated, you're less likely to catch COVID. Two, if you don't have COVID, you can't spread it. And three, you are therefore less likely to spread COVID if faxed. Yeah, except Ryan Grimm doesn't pander to right-wingers like Jimmy Dore does. See, if Jimmy Dore didn't say the things that he was saying about the vaccines, perhaps his friend Tucker Carlson wouldn't invite him on his program. Perhaps all of these new subscribers that are tuning in to see him spread anti-vaccine misinformation would go away. So Jimmy Dore knows exactly what he's doing. So I will be getting my COVID-19 booster and I eagerly await my attack from Jimmy Dore. Feel free to call me a dummy on while Twitter. you simultaneously tell everyone how stupid you are, which is really weird. I mean, if you acknowledge that you're stupid and you're just a pothead comedian, maybe shut the fuck up about things that you know nothing about. Maybe stay in your lane and do comedy for once. Were you acting like I know that and I'm beta, spreading medical misinformation beta, and I'm high, you fucking beta, moron. Beta. Call you the